Hi, my name is Mark Gearhart, and next to me is my Factory 5 Challenge car. I wanted to have something that was wild, something that when I'm 65 years old, young guys can be aspired to build a cooler version of a classic Factory 5, you know, replica of a 65 Cobra. Um, basically, we got together with AEM on this car to do the uh, standalone on this. This motor was actually originally dynoed on an engine dyno, and we were like the second person to run the Infinity. Um, great thing is that they have full cam control. It's not something that a lot of the aftermarkets uh, ECUs have available. Uh, so we ran this thing on the dyno, made 625 horsepower, 8100 RPM, and the motor ran great. Got it in the car, made 534 horsepower at 8100 RPM. It utilizes an E85 sensor, so we can actually run this thing on 91 or E85. Really simple, changes the tune on the fly. Uh, a lot of other things that we're using with Infinity, it's got four wheel uh, speed sensors, all four corners. It's got a dip switch on it as well, so we can actually set the trash control. So the trash control is pretty cool because you can have it to where it's really aggressive or not aggressive, and it works. I mean, basically it measures your wheel speed and non-driven versus driven wheel speed. We have it even tied into an AQ1. The AQ1 we use for track mapping, so when we track this car, we can get all our accelerometer data. So one of the things we might add on to this is the vehicle dynamics module. It's kind of like uh, if you don't need all the if you don't need all the features of an AQ1 like having the inputs from additional sensors, because so we really don't need to use that with having the Infinity. This is a good because a very easy upgrade just for that track mapping capability. You get the GPS, and uh, that's really kind of like really all this car needs, uh, but we put the AQ on in there before the uh, VDM even existed. How I look at my data on this car is very unique. What's cool about it, it's got a full touch screen display on it, so you can actually pull up all the sensor data, the tune, everything on the tablet. So the tablet runs on normal Windows operating system, so it's just like a normal laptop computer or desktop computer. Pull it up, you can do anything you want. You can change everything from gauge displays on there all the way through your VE mapping, spark mapping, if you want to change the blend tables cruising around and it's just not driving right and you need to like target that VE, not a big deal, you can do it right on the fly. So the Infinity has been really great over the years, you know, like I said, this was a previous uh, magazine project car and now it's been my personal project car and been it's been a great system to work with and had no issues whatsoever. The AEM Infinity ECU is legal in California only for racing vehicles, which may never be used upon a highway. For more information, visit aemelectronics.com.